So what we're gonna do today in GRD is drilling our number 19 and number 20 MO. I already got my signatures for both of these. So I pretty much have an hour just to practice. And after, I think we place rubber dams today. So that'll be pretty exciting. I don't know if you could tell, but it is freezing. This is cold for a Florida boy. Got a triple layer next time. Added our high speed hand piece. I'm gonna add my burr. Just put gloves on. Battery for the loops. So this is the uh, last number 20 MO that I did. Got it signed off. So now I'm going to start the next one. We're going to be working on this tooth right here. So we want to set our handpiece to carries removal, 200 RPM, ratio 1.5, and torque 0.7 NCMs. So here's a quick time lapse of me working on my number 20 MO. And check out my posture. My back and neck are thanking me now that I got my new loops. And also shout out to the absolute legend himself, Dr. Conrad, which you're going to see very shortly. He helped me out and gave me some awesome tips. So what I'm trying to do is create a line across here. And we want that line to be 1.5 millimeters deep, which we can measure with our perio probe. From there, we're creating like a step. We also want our small hatchet to pass through without resistance, which we're getting there. It's not really getting stuck. Maybe at this end, I need to polish a little more. And the last thing we want to do is to make sure we can see the little orange spacer very slightly in between the two teeth. It's the final product. Basically, we want our purple floor to be between 1.5 and 2 millimeters, which I measured out. It's good to go. Our buckle lingual width has to be 1.5 millimeters. So that's the distance between our buckle and lingual. Also measured that out with my perio probe and we're good there. The purple floor needs to be flat, no incline. There needs to be no leftover unsupported enamel, which I made sure to break off. Overall pretty decent. These are all the requirements we have to meet. I got signed off last class. So I just decided to try this next one in the mannequin. Came out pretty good. Shout out to my GRD squad. Now let's check up on what my girlfriend Kathleen is up to. Hey guys, so today in Sim Lab, we were working on the maxillary arch doing class 5 preps on anterior teeth. This was also my first time wearing loops while drilling and let me tell you guys, it makes a huge difference in the detail that you can see and my posture. So I just finished the class 5 prep on number 8 and now I made the outline to continue practicing on number 9. Everything as far as the depth and the length of the prep looked good to my professor. These are my friends. Here's another time lapse of me drilling. At this point, my hand was starting to cramp up a little bit as I was working on my second prep. Okay, so here I have eight and number nine prepped with the bevel. I did improve from number eight on my number nine because my number eight prep was a little bit too small and the bevel was too long. But for my number nine, I got just about the right thickness and width for my prep as well as the bevel. I know the bevel is kind of hard to see, but it's pretty much just like an inclination down that we do with this flame diamond burr. So yeah, we're just gonna keep working. We have to do like six of them by our next class. I've been moving pretty slow on these just so that I could get a feel for it, but hopefully I could start moving a little faster. Let's visit my friend Bree. <laughs> Hi Bree. Hi. How's it going? Going good. I'm almost done with all the interior teeth. Oh, okay. You're you're working a lot faster than me. This is my friend Mayel. Ooh, okay, okay. 
Awesome, I've only done three, so you're ahead of me. Okay, so I just made my outline for number seven. I'm gonna drill that really quick. Finish four class fives, and on Wednesday, we're going to fill all of these teeth. So yeah, today was the drilling, and then on Wednesday, we'll fill them. Working on some rubber dams. Let's see what you're doing, Adam. You know, I'm dialed in, making some dots. Trying to get out of here, places to be, things to do. Dial them. Boom. Those dots. Nice. <laughs> Solid. Just poke some holes into some rubber. Looking good. All right, what are we doing here, Adam? We have a uh, rubber dam thing in here. Rubber dam thingy. But, nice. Uh, we're trying to get in here. We're in there. We're going to open this thing up. And then we're going to try our best to not drop it. Well, that's why we have some... <laughs> Lost. All right, round two. We're gonna open that up, squeezing hard, and then put this a little bit lower. There we're you go. We're getting it lower. We're getting it right on the tooth. There you go. Right in there. Get that lower here. Nice. So we can actually get that out. There you go. There go. Solid, we're solid. Good, All right. So once we put that clamp. We got our rubber dam that had holes. Put it through this tooth first, number 18. And then we went to number 26. We put it around that and then did like a double floss to keep that in place. And then we started pushing every tooth through. It's the final result, it's pretty good. Now I get a Greg 4-5, push down and tuck the part that's sticking up into the sulcus. Looking good, Dexter. So we just finished the rubber dam placements. I grabbed the coffee from Panera. Now I'm going to go cook before my classes. I have class at one to three and then three to five. Honestly, I'm not gonna go to the one to three class because I'm behind on lectures. And I know it doesn't make sense because I'm gonna get even more behind on lectures, but I am behind on my lectures for my three to five class. And if I don't catch up on that lecture now, then I won't be able to understand what's going on today from three to five. So part of dental school is choosing your battles and choosing not to go to one lecture to catch up so that my three to five can be productive. Right after that, I think I'm going to place an implant, which I'm super stoked about. To be able to do that D1 fall semester is insane. So definitely looking forward to that. We'll see what happens. So today we're filling the class five teeth that we drilled last time. So this time we're gonna fill them. I've placed my rubber dam and now I'm gonna start filling it. Back at it with another time lapse. You might notice me working with an orange filter on my loops light. This is to prevent the blue light from carrying the composite prematurely. By the way, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as these videos take a lot of effort from Nico and I and we very much appreciate the support. Okay, so here's the restoration. I already filled it in, but I still need to polish it with these cute little burrs on the low speed. So I'm gonna do that first, but yeah, this is it before being polished. This is the blade we're gonna use to remove excess material. First restoration is done, looking good. I ripped my rubber dam, so just ignore that, but I'm gonna move on to the next few teeth now. Okay, so I just finished the third one. I wasn't able to get to the fourth one this lab, but honestly, it's fine. Our professor said to just move slowly and learn the technique, but yeah. As you can see, I have a ton of rips in my rubber dam, which is pretty bad, but it's okay. Practice makes perfect. What are we doing right now? Placing implants, let's go. Learning about implants is a G1, let's go.
So I just widened my hole right here. And now I'm getting this drill bit. Putting the actual implant on like that. That's how it's supposed to look. Perfect. Oh, it's going. Oh yeah. <laughs> that should be good. Does it feel like it's not big or no? Not yet, it's about to. That's the last little guy. Yep. There we go. Ooh. Successful implant. Let's go. There it is. First of many. First of many. Nice. So that was a super fun event. I placed around seven, eight implants. Now I gotta go start studying because the fun is over and I have an exam coming up and I don't feel too prepared for it. So I gotta start grinding. So yeah.